Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Kid Fox today. This is a viewer request. Um, they wanted to see a Kid Fox with streak SRMs. And you all know my kind of like hate-hate relationship with streaks. There's one thing that I don't like about them. I mean, yes, they are lock-on weapons and yes, they have a good amount of range. This is not a bad weapon system per se. However, I think my aim is good enough to run regular SRMs that I can snap fire, that I can instantly drop on my enemy whenever I see them, which means that I have a lower exposure time, I don't need to time to lock on first, and uh, I can pump out a bit more damage that way. And that's why I don't like streaks. And the other, the other reason is that streaks, they decide where the missiles go on the enemy. So when you lock onto something, um, each missile decides which component it will hit and they will splash all the damage all over the arms, the legs, the side tosses, the whatever. And I like to direct the damage where it's needed, which is usually the core or maybe the legs of the enemy. So I, I don't have a lot of agency when playing streaks and that's a thing uh, that I don't like too much. But yeah, other than that, the streaks on the Kid Fox have an amazing cooldown. They have a pretty good range for a short range missile. They deal a good amount of damage and we have sustained fire like crazy. You will especially see that in the, in the first game. If you can get into a position where you just dump the damage onto the enemy holding down the trigger finger, it's crazy. This thing is a rapid fire missile boat and I love it for that. In order to run the streaks, I'm running the Streak 4 launchers here. We have four of them. You could also go with the sixes if you wanted to, but then you only have uh, three of them. It's a little bit of a trade-off here. I like the fours a lot because you can fire, again, all of them together at the same time. Um, and they have a decent cooldown compared to their weight. So only 3.25 with a negative of 1.449. And that's because the Kid Fox D. We have missile cooldown 5% on the left and right arm. We also have a, um, what is it called? Ammo capacity bonus here on the left and right side torso. We have more cooldown, missile velocity range. Our eight piece Omnipod bonus is 5% cooldown, 15% less heat generation, 5% less spread. It is just fan freaking tastic. So again, these things will fire quite fast and we only need one ton of ammo per uh, launcher. That means the rest of the mech can be um, an active probe, which is important to counter ECM because when we are scrambled, when our sensors are gone, we cannot lock onto anything anymore. So we have to have that probe. This is imperative. And then also two double heat sinks to keep the mech cold and so that we can shoot a bit more often. I'm gonna go with max cooldown and heat gen here. Also velocity is really good for those weapons and I have a bit of extra range. So we are about 410 meters in terms of our maximum range. All the missile nodes make sense because we are running a missile mech and then skeletal density, armor hardening. After playing a bunch of games, I mean, it's nice, but I think Speed Tweak and Anchor Turn might be better, so you can uh, maneuver a little bit better. I think this is actually quite nice to have. I actually also go for Cool Run and Heat Containment, because when you have sustained lock on an enemy, you don't want to lose that DPS. So get that so that you can fire more often. We got a bit of hill climb, seismic sensor and radar deprivation, and then the value point here in the consumable slot running a cool shot and a UAV for earlier locks. And that's the build, everybody. Wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have a request, dump it here. You can bribe me with a super thanks or something. And uh, yeah, let's go and see how it's going to go on the battlefield. Alrighty, guys. First game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective. We are playing Domination. And I think our place is right in the circle. Ideally, we have a nice team fight going on on the platform in the middle. And I'm gonna be part of it. Problem is, um, our arms are relatively low. Uh, I tried, um, I played a test round with this build here. And when fighting on a ramp, this is really, really bad. So we have to face our enemy basically head on. If they are just peeking over a ramp or if we are on top of something, it's not gonna be really good for us. Us. It's actually quite bad for us. So again, a team fight is what we are looking for. So let's see if we can we can find it. We'll see. We have a Krail here. Now that is a guy who also wants to be in the thick of the fight. So I think I'm gonna make him my battle buddy. I already saw machine guns. So let's go, my friend. I'm gonna open them up and you're gonna crit them out. We are the can opener and the spoon. You're the spoon. You're the big spoon. I'm the small spoon. Okay, wait for him to take point. And up we go. Up we go, taking the ramp, taking the center. Um, no. Actually, no. Take it back. Center is taken. 
<laughs> oh, Centaur is taken so big, so bad. I'm gonna move around. Go with the other guys. Actually, uh, hold up. Hold up. We can go to Echo 5 directly. We'll take... Uh, it's risky. It's risky. It's risky. It's really risky. Okay. Yeah, we take this spot so we can... Don't we can uh, close in on the team a little Target bit acquired. faster, Stalker. Now we got problems. Uh, we, we need more metal here in the center. Like, way more. Yeah, that's a Stalky. Five? Oh, crazy, what? What the... Oh, there's more! Um... Yo, where to go? We can't go back nor forth. Because this whole area is covered. Check out the center with the UAV. What? what, what? What's the battle plan, guys? Just long range all day? Uh, we need a bit of help here. Ay, ay, ay. All right. All right. So I feel like they're like we are completely surrounded. Is what I feel. Okay. Let's New let's get moving. Acquired. 500 meters dire wolf. We need 410. All right. Closing in. Closing in. I know that there's a stalker. Oh, commando! Commando, commando! I'm gonna hold here. Don't go for me, I'm just a kitty. A kitty foxy. There's a stalker. Alright, we turn around now. Um... Yeah, that's it. Good narc, by the way. I like that. Yeah, I deserve it. <laughs> okay, okay, we dealt damage to the Dyer. Hopefully we're getting a little bit more done here. Let's uh, break the angle. Oh, sorry. Break the angle? Go back, actually? Uh, I wanted to be close to the ridge, but... Maybe that's not what we do. Let, let, let's actually go over here because we seemingly have a fight unfolding in a second in that direction. Acquired. So we have this weird ramp situation. Low, low mounts plus ramp equals bad. Bad for the Barra. Oh, this is good though. Yeah. In the flank. Careful. Uh-huh. Alright. Ah! Don't want to do it. Did it anyways. God, I wish I had regular SRMs now. Look at how little we deal in terms of focus fire. He's not on me, though, which I love. All right, we got him in the end. Okay, good. Good, good, good. There's another guy. Uh, medium X-Pulse is not a thing I want. Careful. Left, right, left, right, left, right. He's not on me. Uh-huh. Okay, we got this guy as well. Four and three. There are some light mechs down there. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's go. Irby? I'm gonna go for Irby. Oh god, this is a bad idea. How many seismic? What? Two seismic? Target Two seismic, okay. Irby? There you go. Uh, he's rocking me up. And that is enough for the moment. I'm alone down here, which is kind of bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I made a mistake. I disconnected from the team. Team is fighting on another Target flank. Acquired. And we got trouble. Like that, that shadow cat is a lot of trouble. Okay, let's go for the stalker then, or whatever. Ay -ay -ay. Leave me alone. You got my center? Okay, crazy. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no safe spot for me anymore. Come on. We're gonna try to get something done here on the stalker's end. Oh, God. Break the angle is what I wanted to do earlier. Let's get him. No. See? Okay. Light mech. Wolfhound. Large X pulses. Let's go. For you? Can I? I mean, we have a very good UAV here. Oh, there's a guy. Goodbye. Goodbye, me. Yeah, it's, it's it. It's just it. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Everybody's running. And, and when I say everybody, I mean all of the two mechs that are still alive. That's me and my friend here. <laughs> All right. Still alive, though. Still have weapons. Okay. Can we? No, no way. No, this is it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I thought we had it. The funny thing about it is we dealt 800 damage. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What? 817? I mean, yeah, team damage. When the missiles are flying, the missiles are flying. I'm sorry, boys, but hey, we got a killing blow and one kill most damage dealt. We even got a solo out of that. That's pretty cool. Man, 817. 
It was very indirected though, undirected. So let's see how the next game is going down. Alrighty guys, second game of the day. We are playing the Vitrix Station. We are going to the top side and we are, yeah, playing Skirmish. So let's get up here and try to break line of sight instantly because I don't want to get hit by any PPCs, arch lasers, chaos rifles or any other long range shenanigans the enemies might find for me. So we're gonna hug the wall on the left side. We're gonna use the Vapor Eagle as our meat shield and then we're gonna try to get to the ramp. Maybe we're gonna get a push going. Maybe the enemies are gonna make something happen there. Okay, pushing around. Acquired. This guy is fast, man. Target Holy crap. Uh-huh. I didn't get hit yet. My friend did. And here we go. 700 meters and closing in. Do I want to drop a UAV right away? Oh, there's a guy super duper close. Yeah, I think I'll drop that UAV. Where is that guy? Come on, pop up. No. Uh, javelin on the sidelines? Wait, wait, wait. Can I do this? This is smart. Probably not. It's too open here on the right flank. Oh, there was people down there. Let's, uh, yeah, let's move around here. We have a lot of presence here. This is a thing that I really do appreciate. Atlas, little late for the Atlas shot. Yeah, was it worth it? Maybe, possibly. We can push over, guys. Ramp is somewhat clear. I'm stuck. Don't hit the kid, Fox. Great. Give me that guy. Oh, wait. Atlas is still here? Oh, oh God. Oh, God. I hate that. Okay, let's get the Atlas. He hit me again. Okay, pushing. And he's dropping. Okay, that was good initial damage. Good job, guys. Uh, I think we need to keep it up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's a problem. Mm, 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 mm. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah, crap. People were not coming. People were not coming, and we have a problem on the other side of the battlefield. So let's go, Irby. Gonna push hotel now. Let's get him. Let's do it together. 400 meters, Urban Mac. Yeah, it's fine. Let's get this guy, the stalker. Okay, he's a Gauss. Please. Thank you. Okay, good. That is absolutely fantastic. We're gonna move through the center here, trying to avert the gaze and uh, trying to not be seen anymore for a while so that I can pop up from a surprise position. Okay, light mech down there. We are in a two in one situation. Can I hit a catapult? Probably not without team fire. There's a guy beneath me. You are so beneath me. Didn't acquired. think he would look at me. I thought he was just going to the ramp. Complete misunderstanding of the situation here. Or misreading acquired. the situation. Okay, let's go for the cat. It's not possible. Why so timid, guys? We, we had a great advantage that we didn't push. Nah. Nah, I say. Let's go for Irby. Good. Go for the other. Javelin. Uh, way too much damage. Okay, we're gonna try to find another spot here. I think I'm gonna stay in the heat vision though. Okay, down here? Nope. No, 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 no. Looking for a guy that I can hit from above. Oh, there is a guy again. Let's go, Irby. Can we kill him? Ah, uh, close. Close, close, close. There's a battle master or whatever. So we need to get away from this angle. Nah. Why me? I'm just a poor kid, Fox. Let's regroup. Okay. Oh man, I gotta be really careful here. Can I can I have some teammates, please? Can I have some teammates? Yeah, we are completely collapsing because of the lack of teamwork in general. Oh hello. I'm dead. Am I? Am I? I might be. Yeah. I mean, we got a kill in the end. But are they gonna get me now? Come on. Pick my arm. Ah, you got my arm. Okay. So this is all I can do. I am absolutely toast. I can try to keep him a bit busy. Yeah. Need help. Hello. Get the javelin. He's overheating. I mean, that was me. 
Yeah! <laughs> All right, so five and nine. I don't think we can win this. Again, I think we had a very good positioning and a very good advantage early on. Um, didn't push it. Didn't push the advantage. Didn't press the attack. And as a result, the enemies were able to maneuver. We were scattered. They did the thing. We didn't. I tried. I really, really tried here. But hey, let's see this to the end. Irby with the heavy PPC and the small lasers is getting wrecked right now. Nope. Right now. Now. <laughs> GG. Okay. Again, I, this, this mech is so hard to play. You cannot do anything on your own. That's the problem with it. The problem is also that we have to lock onto our targets, which makes this even more dangerous because you have to face your enemy for a certain amount of time. And if they are watching you in return, you're gonna suffer. But if they are watching a friend, if you have a battle buddy, if you have a mobile team fight going on, then yeah, you can get something done here. Anyways, we got a killing blow. We got two kill most damage dealt with 571 damage done. So I think you need to just look for the right circumstance and you can get stuff done. But not today, <laughs> I guess. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it anyways. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.